Um, hope that, you know, Jordan Cambridge's injury is not something that's going to keep her out. Um, same thing with IT. We'll find out more tomorrow. But neither one of those kids came back to the game. So that's the first thing you always think about with these kids when, when that happens. But as far as the win goes, to be 2-2 two and two after four games, uh, very happy going into our bye week. feel like the, uh, the start was exactly what you wanted? Couldn't have been better much. Couldn't have been much. We could have maybe got a better stop or two here and there, but – um, and, and we, we fouled early, and I thought that set the tone. You know, we, we did foul early, and it just carried over and over and over, and we set a new league record, I think, of 28 fouls and letting them shoot 35 free throws, something that – or 32 free throws, sorry. Something that, you know, we can't do that, not in and not out. So the start was awesome. It did lead to a lot of energy and I think propelled us to make a few more threes than we might normally have. Uh, talk about Baker. I mean, that's what you want out of her coming off the bench. Right? It is. Yeah, and then that feeds her defense, and that feeds her passing, it feeds everything. So uh, she's a kid that has always been streaky, you know. She knows that, and she's in a good place. She's uh, been a really happy kid since about Christmas. Uh, she's settled into this role. She's been great in the locker room. Um, that usually happens for seniors. You know, they start to see the end of the tunnel coming, and she's been awesome. And I think as a result, it's carried over to playing good, and her teammates got some confidence in her, and that helps. I think uh, Vanderbilt had just played A&M and Georgia to seven points each. Yep. What uh, were you able to do against them that those teams did? Well, we, we tried to double-team Maria on the catch and frustrate her early. I think she turned it over five out of the first six times she touched it and didn't make a shot in, in the first half. Is that right? I'm not sure if that's exactly right, but one, okay. It felt it felt like we really crowded her, and I, and I think that was their – I know it's everybody's game plan against us is to pound it inside, so – until they made a certain number of threes, we were going to make sure that didn't happen. And Jalen Mason is so good at that, y'all. You know, and I've said it a hundred times, we undervalue her, so, but she is so good at sitting in that kid's lap and being able to anticipate and study the film. She's so, so good at that. And I thought that really frustrated and stymied them. And then they went away and made an adjustment. I mean, you know, Stephanie won a WNBA championship. They, she knows how to coach and went away from it, started driving it on us. So... And then that got Maria, uh, Maria, Maria, I can't say her name, got her going. Uh, the only other thing is just, do you feel like your quickness was, was the difference? I mean, you yeah. know, they got size, you got quickness, and your quickness was a little better. And we had talked about that. One, one style is going to win out over the other today. Is it going to be, you know, power and size, or is it going to be speed and quickness? And I, I think when you add in there their lack of depth as well, we sure hoped it would. We wanted to play the, the message – um, on the in the locker room was play as fast as we've played all year but as under control as we were and I thought we got it from inbound into the the front court as quick as we had in a long time and that does wear on you what T what Taylor and Kiera do to you running the floor even though we didn't score a lot of times out of it that that punishes big kids especially when those big kids know they're going to play 36 to 40 minutes so um, I thought it got off to a good start you know I'm we, we didn't finish great, but that's okay. That's really hard. It's hard to win all four quarters. Even when we've been behind in games, we seem to find a way to win the fourth quarter. But um, this is one of those games we won't critique, critique too hard. Uh, we've got school starting tomorrow. We'll let them go. I'm going to give them two days off. They don't know that yet, so you all may break that in the newspaper if you want to. Um, but they're going to get two days off. Uh, we don't play again until next Monday. So two days off to get a good start in the classroom um, starting tomorrow. Two things, uh, AT's injury update, and then um, having this week off, what do you hope to get done in this week before you have a little stretch there? Yeah, we'll clean some things up on the floor um, and rest and recover. We've, you know, we've been in a strong little stretch there, so we'll rest, recover, get off to an academic. And we'll start to work on Tennessee, middle of the week, you know, and kind of work backwards too. We've got you know, a three-game stretch. We'll probably work backwards on all three opponents, uh, take advantage of the off day. Um, we'll see what they say about IT. I've learned that with initial evaluations, it's always really, really hard. So we'll hope for the best with her and uh, probably know something more tomorrow. Yeah. Just the SEC is crazy. Uh, yeah. You know, with the upsets today, just where the league is right now. It's, uh, you know, there's 
I, I still think there's a few teams at the top that have separated themselves, but I think the, the middles be getting them a little bit more um, not as obvious as it used to be. I, you're one key player away. Kentucky had to play today without Macy Morris, and that made a huge difference. Um, we, we're all one player away from um, – from having opportunities and from seeing opportunities slip away. So it's precious. Uh, it's going to be fun to see how it all plays out. I haven't seen – did Georgia end up hanging on against Tennessee? Okay. Well, there you go. It's, a, it's going to be wide open. It's going to be interesting to see the standings tomorrow. But, you know, you look at them, you update yourself every Monday and you, you try to, you know, you try to go 2-0 and every week. If it's 1-1 one one based on your schedule, you take it. But – being able to defend home against a team that's picked similarly to us and finished similarly the last couple of years, I, I think we've shown some some pretty good progress. Too. No kidding. Where was that one? They're capable. I'm telling you, a team that shoots it like they are, you know, it is very very capable. I thought we had our chances at Missouri the other night. We just didn't make enough shots. So um, doesn't doesn't surprise me. But um, it's going to be the way it's going to be in this league. All right. Thanks, y'all.